coming through the forest now. Just came from back there. Where all that light is, you can see where the lava field begins. It's a lot harder for trees to grow through the crust of all the lava. So just like the last cave I found, I find the vents first. All right, so just over there is where I found those vents. It probably didn't come through on the camera, but I shined my light in there and I could see that there was a lava tube wall inside, so it was an obvious lava tube. And I knew those to be the vents a little ways into the cave, so. This is the entrance. It goes more north, and then this goes south back to where I was. The majority of the cave goes this direction, but this is the entrance. All right, so we've come down in. This is the north facing tunnel. A lot of times with lava tubes, the, the entrance is just a random collapse. And the tunnel goes both directions. A lot of cool cracks in the ceiling here. Yeah, so far this tunnel is just really short. It looks like it's going to be ducking down most of the way. Rough floor too. We got a lot of the roots coming down from the ceiling, which is cool. I always like to imagine the lava pushing its way through these caves. This is a pretty interesting. It's a really wide tunnel. There's a lot of bulges from the ceiling and stuff. It's really cool right here. Looks like some of the ceiling has come down. And come to rest on this boulder. This is nice. It kind of opens up down here. There's a lot of water in the air coming through on the camera too. A lot, of, a lot of moisture. This is a nice walking chamber right here. Got tons of roots coming down from the ceiling. It looks like there's a nice shelf right here and get extremely tiny up there and then continue on but there's no way a person could fit through there but since the lava flowed the opposite direction of where we're going it would have this would have been like a, almost like a lava fall right here so cascading down from there and then it's all small up there because that's where it ran out it comes down and continues to flow this way I'm going to head back towards the entrance and check out the other half of this cave. Alright, we're coming up on the entrance. You can already feel the heat. It's like 80 or 90 outside today. The cave continues to the south. We're going to check that part out next. Alright, here on the other side of the entrance. Coming down into the... 
southern part. Looks like it immediately splits into two directions. Really low ducking or crawl way through there. Nice shelving along the side of it too. Striation lines. We're gonna take this way first. This is just like an abandoned mine. And yeah, this looks like the, that right ranching one meets right back up with this, so the lava just carved a side passage. These shelves on either side are just pristine, like works of art. Continue on down. This is much like the northern part. Really low hanging ceiling. Oh wow. Just like in the northern part, we have another spot where the ceiling has fallen down onto another boulder here. This is almost exactly the same formation. It's another, it gets wide again. And here we have some, some red parts. You can see all the waves on here. This big hunk of solidified red lava in the middle of this tunnel. Just gonna have to crouch past it. It looks like up ahead are those skylights that I found earlier. Never past that red lava part. Got a log in here. Might have come in through. These skylights right here. So I don't know if it comes through on camera. You see that is a beautiful shaft of light coming through and hitting that shelf. That's the skylight that I looked down through earlier. And I saw this shelving right here. So I figured we were close. This part of the cave is amazing. It's above ground you can see the bulge and down here below it's like a big kind of ballroom area where it opens up and it has these skylights. And all these shelves on the side. Yeah, it's nice to be down here out of the heat. It's really hot out there. ceiling comes down on a big boulder. And it looks like a just kind of like a chunk of the ceiling just came out and now it's resting on the side. This is like a water slide. The camera is level right now, so this is the lava like twisted down. This is almost like a drain right here. Or a lava fall. Yeah, this this part is incredible. It goes all the way down. This is the point of the cave where you need ropes. It's pretty much a vertical drop. 
I don't have ropes with me, but I did want to come to this cave and find it and, and see where the anchor was. And there is indeed an anchor for a rope, so yeah, if you once you get down over this, it's a vertical drop. So you can't explore the rest of this cave without rope. But I'll have to come back another time with gear and check out the rest of it. But it's still an incredible place to see. Way out here in the middle of the lava field. No trails coming over here or anything. Just gonna have to crash through the forest and the lava field to get over here. Just come from there, check out the south part. Unfortunately, we couldn't go past the vertical descent section and check out the rest of the cave. And we're back here at the entrance. You can already feel the heat just when you come around the corner. You feel how hot it is just near the entrance. So, Back onto the lava field. So this is another hidden cave in the Mount St. Helens area. Always grateful to find another new cave. Following roughly the path of the cave above ground on the way back. Heading back over to the skylight area. down into where we just were. You can feel the cool air coming out too, it's really nice. And yeah, the cave continues this way. I always love being above ground and, and just knowing the direction of the cave and where it is under the forest floor. And then just looking up here you'd have absolutely no idea that there's a cave down there. That's why I love these places, they're always fascinating like that. And it shows you that sometimes there's so much more than just what you can see above ground.